Yo, what's up everyone, Weasel Gaming it, and today we are going to be going through the latest patch notes that have just come out in the game. So, if you haven't already noticed, we have a new login area, otherwise known as Lobby. It's a very classical look, very stylish, takes me back to the 1950s, not that I was alive back then, but it's what you'd imagine it to be if you watch, I don't know, Downton Abbey or something. Now, my character doesn't quite look like she deserves to be in a room like this because mine is more for the, she's more a baby, you know, you go to the beach, you go to the swimming pool, and that's where you would find me, or my Alina, of course, but somehow she's managed to wiggle her way through into this room with some fruit and veg to kind of keep that very good posture look to herself. I don't know, but coming away from the subject a bit, I think, so let's actually get on with the update. So, as you can see, there is a new lobby background. Here it is. Now, one of the updates that have come out is the classical costumes. So if you want to look stylish, if you want to look classy, and if you just want to look very classic, you can go and buy the new costumes by going to the card shop and go to costume and then you can buy them. You've got the, obviously, the 11 cards for 5k jams or you can just buy single ones. I would always suggest buying the 10 plus ones. You get one bonus card plus it's a guaranteed immortal. And... The stats on the classical costumes for Immortal level 20 will give you increased damage by 4% and increased critical rate resist by 4% as well as increased XP gathered rate by 5%. So if you really want to level up a little bit faster as well as get the increased damage and the increased critical rate resist, it is really good. Now it is actually better than our current costume set because our costume set currently, well I say currently, which was the school one before. So if I quickly go and show you my costumes right now, go costumes. I've got the, I've obviously got the, well, that's the ranked one. Let's not click the ranked one. Uh, let's click the head. So I got the student's outfit and it gives critical, uh, so critical rate resist, yes, by 4% and increases damage of all skills. Now, the damage of all skills only works for your skills where the increased damage on the new classic set actually works on all skills all combos and your normal damage so it is a slight increase however it is a very small increase so unfortunately i will not be wanting to get the new set myself because i've already gathered all the stats i want on all of my outfits and if i want to get a new one i'd have to do a lot of changing and it would just take so many new costumes or just old costumes to get the right stats on it and for me to get it to the right level that it won't be worth my while it would be if you've got big enough pockets but not 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 in my case unfortunately so yeah and obviously the xp gain is only if you struggle leveling up in all fairness it's not going to be that much of a big boost anyway so that is the new classic costume. So what else have we got new here? I've got the patch notes up right now. So we also got the new classic cloak. So this is uh, this is a very interesting one. And I, I don't actually agree with how they've uh, brought this out. So, but basically there are three different cloaks. As you can see uh, in the Facebook page, if you've already seen the patch notes, there's a red one, a white one, and a black one. They also come in three grades, epic, legendary, and mortal. Let me go to the wardrobe. Maybe I can, that's crafting. Maybe I can show you the new capes. That might be an interesting one. So if I quickly go, um, actually, look, we're going to go alpha, and I'm going to show you the new set. If, if, if There it is. So if I click try on, so this is the new classic set. Okay, for those of you wondering, for Alina, it really looks uh, classy, very classy. Um, not for me though, not for me, but there is also the ranked one, and where is it? The ranked one is just a blue version, which the blue version looks okay, but to me it's just a bit too revealing, it's a bit clunky, it's a bit, it makes my character look a bit fat, so I definitely might be using it, but we're going to leave it on for the time, we're going to leave the blue one on. And if we go to ETC, it should have the new capes. And they do. So at the bottom down here, we have the new capes. So that is what it looks like. That's the red one. We have the black one. And we have the white one. And these are the three new capes. You've also got guild ones. So these ones with that symbol on, it will put your guild symbol in the back. So in my case, that's my guild symbol. It's a pretty bad symbol. It does not match the capes. Maybe I'll match the, uh, the white one a little bit better. There you go. That looks a little bit better. But... As you can see, the capes look kind of good, but how do you get hold of them? So, 
<sighs> this is what I don't agree with, as I said before. The only way to get hold of the classic capes for the 15% increase of all skills critical damage, which is the static stat on the cape itself. And the only way you can get it, not a fan. Why did I click a fan? Let's go off that quick. Click the X. Work. Work. Oh. I'd have not. Guys, don't click a fan. That is the wrong page. You want to click on hot deals. And as this loads up, you can see, you can't see the name because of the way it's uh, shown on the actual recording, but you can still see what you get in the pack. So on the left one, you get the Immortal Classical Wing guaranteed for $100 or £100. Uh, for the $50 one, you get Legendary Plus, so you can get Legendary or Immortal. And then the $30 one is the Epic Legendary or Immortal one. You're just not guaranteed Immortals unless you get the $100 one. Now, I do not, I do not promote uh, buying those packs. But it's the only way to get hold of the new cape that gives you 15% skill crit damage. So, yeah, they've made it pay to win, unfortunately. And that's the only way to get hold of the best cape in the game. Which, I guess it does make sense if they want to reward people to, you know, to spend money. And they kind of get something that other people who are free to play can't get their hands on. Unless they bring it at, bring out in the future for us. Or to get, I don't know, in the costume packs. Now, you can get the classic co uh, cloaks from the guild shop. So, they do give us free players something. But, it only gives you 10% in the skill crit damage instead of the 15%. Which is a massive difference. And not just that, if you click on guild and then you go to your guild shop. You have to go all the way along, right? And although you can get the capes and all the rest, you have to get the one with the immortal one, which is nearer to the end. Now, I can't actually check if it's level 9 or level 10. My guess is it's level 9, though, because I think level 10 only gave me the gems and the gold, and we are level 10, so... Uh, but for 5,000 points, that takes so much time. I'm not sure if you guys realise how much time that takes. And you're going to only buy one a day. And you're not guaranteed an immortal. In fact, the immortal is extremely rare. Let's let's click one, right? I got I got some points. We're gonna click one. Let's see if we get ourselves any luck. If it doesn't come back shiny, oh, it does come back shiny. So we've got a legendary or an immortal, and we've got a legendary one. It wasn't even the new cape though, so you still get the old coat, uh, the old capes, and it wouldn't have been too bad if you were guaranteed to get one of the new ones, but you're not. And that is five thousand points down the drain, and you can't get points that fast like i might get like six thousand points in a week that's how slow the points are so it's unfortunate and i do agree with all, all, all of you guys who might be moaning about how to get hold of the new capes and hopefully they will put it in the gem packs in the future instead of making it so you have to spend money because people like me people like us even we don't really have the money to spend on it unless if you do have a lot of money then well you can get you can spend hundred dollars and get the new cape Anyways, though, back to the actual update. So, we have, in the adventure area, we have the Phantasm Island. So, uh, if we click on World Map, we have the Phantasm Island back again. But, we have to redo them all. So, it's an actual shame that we have to redo them all because they are not any harder than they were before. It would have been really cool if they were harder and then you can get the epics more commonly from the later ones. Now, I obviously haven't done them just yet. I will get them done, though, because it's the free gems. So, as you can see, for doing the first five, you get 50 gems. And then, after you do the second round, you'll get your hands on, does it tell me? 75 gems. And then the last uh, five in the free one to free five, you'll get yourself 100 gems. And you also get some pretty cool stuff in the star rewards. Nothing too major though. It wouldn't have been too bad if you've got immortal weapons because I really need those. I've run out of immortal weapons, but you no, know, you only get given legendary stuff. You do get out item boosts and gold, but that is pretty much all you do get. Okay, so we also got another event, guys, and that is the mana equipment drop rate up a fant. Now, I do not see anywhere on the game screen on where it actually shows the event is actually in place. But what the event is, is basically you get more mana equipment from cards purchased with gems. So it's only for the gem packs, not the feathers. And you will get an increased amount of mana. So we're going to test one now and see if we get any. So if we click the special shop, go card shop. Now, I only really want mana for my accessories. So... 
we're going to buy 10 accessories here and on average I was probably getting two to three mana pieces in every pack I opened. I didn't open that many though guys. So we get more than two or three that'd be pretty cool and there is also another eventful purchasing card which I'll come to in just a second. So we've only got one shiny and that's just the, probably the guaranteed legendary which is unfortunate. I kind of want to get some new immortal ones. So we're just going to click on these. Um, no mana. One mana right there. Another mana item. None. 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 Is, are, are we, okay, we got three so far. Three. Four mana pieces. And we get a red pan amulet. I actually needed the amulet. I'm not going to lie. We needed that baby. So thank you. But um, yeah, I telling a, telling a slight lie though. Although I need it, I don't actually have a promotion ticket. So yeah, that might have to come in time. But the, uh, the pack did bring us four mana. So four mana for 3,000 gems. That's still quite costly. That's similar to kind of roughly 750, 800 gems per mana in that one pack alone. And if you do want to get your hands on accessory mana, do it now. If you have the gems, if you have the money to spend, it's the best chance for you to get the accessory mana because the two times event in the accessory packs doesn't come often and it is the best way to get your hands on accessory mana in the game at the moment. So... Go, go and test your luck and also if you still do need the red panda and the dreamer sets that is your this is your perfect opportunity to get them because you are still guaranteed the red panda and dreamer set legendaries or immortals in the packs i think you're only guaranteed one though so keep that in mind now there is another event as i literally did kind of uh, say just before we did that is you got the card purchase event so similar to what it was the other week if you click on achievement you click on reward and as you can see we have these uh we have these events now as you can tell it says 10 out of 20 10 out of 30 10 out of 40 now there was zero out of 10 before i clicked on it so the rewards must have went straight to my inbox let me go and check so um yes yeah, special reward 200 adventure points and if we scroll down i think we might have got something and an immortal weapon so that's what i got from opening the the first 10 cards in the accessory pack that we just did we go back to rewards and it does go up to a total of 100 cards so i can't tell you everything you get because it doesn't actually mention stuff like the gems for example the pack out of you know pack number three there or 10 out of 30 for 1000 gems and 10 training tickets on the table it says on the patch notes it only says the training tickets so there's going to be gold gems and feathers alongside the items so as you can tell for the 20 you get the epic rune card for the 30 you get the 10 trainer tickets and 40 you get the immortal jewel for 50 you'll get the weapon transcendence ticket 60 is legendary crest promotion card 70 is legendary rune card 80 is immortal weapon jewel card and you get two of them 90 cards and you'll get yourself four immortal weapon cards and for buying 100 cards or 10 times 10 packs you'll get yourself 10 sharp awakening crystals towards your awakening weapon. Now, the crystals are so hard to get your hands on that that might be worth it. 30,000 gems is a lot of gems, but you do get all of those items plus with the event to actually get the increased mana on the accessories. And if you still need to get your accessories transcended to level 30, like I do, I don't even have a red panda set for my pet, so I might try my best to get some of it done now. Uh, it's, a, it's a good chance to spend some of your gems and you do get some good stuff plus you get the shop awakening crystals Which if you were to just spend gems on the awakening crystal packs in the shop You wouldn't get 10 in 30k gems As we saw in one of my previous videos. I think we spent like 16k and we got like four so it does work out at pretty uh, pretty good ratio plus you get all the rest of the items as well, but you don't get any shards okay, so that is that event and the two times mana drop rate has gone. We do not have the two times mana drop rate. Now, it did take effect last week, but before that, it wasn't actually working as we all figured out. But it's gone now. But we do have the mana rate in this shop. It does work for weapons and armors, but I would only really suggest it for accessories. But then again, you new people out there might want to get your weapons and armors up as well. So you can do that. And that is pretty much the update in a nutshell. I don't really know what else I can do. 
and to test a few things out so i hope you'll enjoy those as well and as always guys take it easy i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to go below and give it a thumbs up we are aiming for 50 likes on this video if we can manage it if not then well we can still try we can still try but yeah guys if you do enjoy my videos remember to sub i do bring it daily content well at least i try daily content every single day and i will see you in my next video see you guys